We ask that everyone maintain a prayerful silence while the messages are being read. We ask for the same prayerful respect as the message is being read in Spanish. <coughs> Our Lady is here as Mary, refuge of holy love, and is holding a rosary of all white rosebuds, like on her statue in the field of the United Hearts. And by the way, this message was given in multiple parts. <clears throat> I'll start over with that. Our Lady is here as Mary, refuge of holy love, and is holding a rosary of all white rosebuds, like on her statue in the field of the United Hearts. Blessed Mother says, praise be to Jesus. Today, dear little children, I have come to tell you that your rosaries are the key that unlocks the door to untold graces. The rosary is a decisive weapon against evil. It cannot be unpiloted like a drone aircraft, however. Your heart must be in the prayers you say for this is where the power lies. These days, your country is faced with important decisions. You need a strong leader, a leader not enamored with the importance of his office, but one who seeks the welfare of the people and the strength of this nation. Such a leader supports the truth. Once again, I tell you, do not trust what someone tells you simply because of his high office. We have seen in this mission that this can be misleading. The same is true in the political arena. Truth, dear children, is the reality of the facts. Lying must not be considered business or politics as usual. Lying is Satan's deceit. Dear children, do not allow yourselves to be tricked by Satan to think that your prayers and your vote do not count. Both your prayers and your vote in this upcoming election affect your future and the future of the world. You do not understand how the rosary works in concert with the will of God, nor do you comprehend the evil that threatens your national security if you make the wrong choices, I am praying for you that you see truth for truth's sake. Then my victory will be possible. Then the citizens in this nation will be led, not manipulated. Pray your rosary daily for my victory and your victory of truth. Dear children, to those of you who pray my rosary from the heart daily, I promise my eternal assistance. I take your rosaries and use them to stop wars, influence politics, and international affairs, and most of all, to transform hearts into holy love. You must not have hatred in your hearts. Oh, it's not
everybody. We're going to continue with the message. <laughs> okay. Okay, I hope you can hear. <laughs> you must not have hatred in your hearts for anyone or any group. You can hate only the actions of others. You must pray for those far from the truth of holy love. Realize, my dear little children, that truth is the standard by which good is discerned over evil. Holy love is the truth. No one, no matter their influence, can change this. Your rosary of the unborn is my weapon of choice during this present age. Your future lies in the welfare of these innocent unborn lives. Wage war with Satan with this, heaven's most powerful weapon. Dear children, once again I remind you that law, title, or even vocation do not preclude the compromise of truth. If truth is compromised in any way, my son's dominion is diminished. Jesus does not take up his sovereignty in a heart which does not live in truth. The Holy Rosary grounds your heart in the reality of truth. Dear children, your prayers are like weapons of mass destruction against Satan's lies. Be assured, I take each prayer and lay it on the altar of my son's most sacred heart. You hold no petition in your heart that I do not know of. Therefore, have courage. Today, I'm extending to you my blessing of holy love.